Okay, welcome to our 2019 M Healthy Champion informational meeting. We're going to go ahead and go through this, and then if you have any questions, you can let us know. So let's go ahead and start by saying thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, we could not do nearly what we do now without all of your help. We appreciate it so much. Thank you so much. We love your passion, love your commitment. Uh, thank you so much. It's all due to you. Talk about our meeting agenda. It's just ACEs and the Champion Program Update, Active View, other program services, and then reward. So let's go ahead and start with the ACEs program. Hopefully all of you are very familiar with this site here. Um, the A is the announce, and so you can announce by sending out an email to your folks, announcing it in the staff meeting, running up and down the hallway yelling, I'm the champ, I'm the champ, I'm the champ. Whatever works for you in your, your area is the best to do. And then just let us know how you've announced. The next thing is a checklist, and that's the workplace wellness checklist. And this is um, on the portal and should be done in conjunction with your supervisor and also your wellness committee. So hopefully most of you have wellness committees. Um, if not, it's a good suggestion to maybe go ahead and start one. Um, but the checklist should be done with that group. And then also you might want to think about sending out the health interest survey. You can get that from your wellness coordinator. And you send out your health interest survey, that data in conjunction with the workplace wellness checklist data uh, will give you a really good idea of how to set up some important action steps for your area. That's the C. Then you go ahead and execute those action steps. That's the E. And then share your success. I always say it's the W, sort of what went well and what went wayward, if anything, in fact, did. And then once you've completed your ACES program, there are lots of other doors that opens up, uh, in particular, the wellness grants, which we'll get to in just a moment. Hopefully you all know who your wellness coordinator is, and there are the lists of the names and the, the regions. If you don't know who your wellness coordinator is um, and your region is not on the list, please email us at mhealthy at umich.edu, and we'll get you hooked up with your coordinator as soon as possible. So the wellness grants. The wellness grants are awarded in increments ranging from $100 to $1,000 per request, anything in there. Uh, creativity is encouraged as well as sustainability. And by sustainability, we need, we need of course, materials, but also in terms of culture. So for example, say you wanted to have a healthy lunch. Well, great, but how is that sustainable? So maybe you have a healthy lunch in conjunction with a kickoff of a nutrition program, or you have an unhealthy dietitian coming to speak, something like that. So make it creative and sustainable. Uh, the deadline is, of course, April 30th, which means that the best thing to do is get your ACES program completed by March 30th, so you have a whole month to do the grant. And the suggestion would be to do the application and send it to your coordinator first, and then your coordinator can help work with you, make any changes that uh, they see might need to be made or anything that might need to be edited, and then you can put it back in by the end deadline. CHAM program timeline, the informational meetings, been happening all January. Uh, April is the wellness grant application that we mentioned, and also it's a CHAMP mailing. And when we say CHAMP mailing, what we mean is campus mail. So that's a time when you should be getting some posters and flyers for programs that will be happening um, after that date. June, champions roll off or renew for another year, two year term. Uh, July and August is active champion recruitment, and then also wellness grant recipients are named. August, another champ mailing. November is a retreat, and December is another champ mailing. So let's talk about M Healthy Active U. So this is our 14th year, it's pretty exciting. Uh, it's almost unheard of to have wellness programs not only lasting for this long, uh, but continuing to improve and also adding more people. We generally have between 10 and 15,000 people in this program, and we generally have over 60% um, successful completion. So awesome. Thanks, you guys. You're doing a great job. Now, it is our 14th year, though, so 2020 is our 15th year. That's a milestone. What are we going to do? So help us think of some things that we can do to celebrate ActiveU's 15th year next year. Let us know. Emails, phone, call us, 
that was in the hallway, whatever, just let us know what your thoughts are. Just an overview of the program. Of course, it started um, on January 8th in terms of logging, and it ends on April 1st. Now, there is a 14-day grace period, uh, which means that, say, for example, it's the fourth day of week three. Well, you can go back 14 days to the fourth day of week one. Some folks were getting confused and saying, oh, it's two weeks back, so if I'm in week three, you can go back to, to week one. 14 days. So again, fourth day of week three, you can go back to the fourth day of week one. Not, it is 14 days, but don't think of it in terms of weeks, okay? A couple changes this year. The minimum weekly minutes is 120. We're still working our way up to get to the recommended 150 minutes a week of exercise. Um, but for right now, it's 120. And you have to complete those 120 minutes uh, while logging over at least three days of at least 30 minutes a day. Now, minimum is 120. You are absolutely welcome to increase that number. So you feel like, okay, I'm averaging 150 minutes a week or I'm averaging 200 any Tuesday or Wednesday of any week you can go ahead and change that weekly goal for that week. And then it stays at that goal until you change it again. All right. So say, for example, this week you're thinking, all right, I'm doing great. We kind of have a little bit of enforced indoor time. So I'm going to do some workouts indoors and that's great. And I'm going to up my minutes to 300 minutes a week. Great. But the next week you feel like you're coming down with something and you think, well, maybe I can't do the full 300 minutes. Tuesday or Wednesday next week, you can bring it back down to making it up 150 minutes a week. So you can alter it any week you want. It just has to be on Tuesday or Wednesday of that week. We've also done more work on the interface, so it's a little bit more user-friendly, and captains can now email their teams right from the portal. So what you do is you go into the challenge area, click on the locker room, and you'll see an area to write the email, and then just above that blank area is an envelope. And when you're finished writing the email, you click on it, and it goes to your team. ActiveView overview, most of this information you know. The thing I just want to highlight here is that the charity of choice is the University of Michigan Depression Center. Each time we do ActiveView or ActiveView Autumn, we try to have a charity of choice. Um, this time is the U of M Depression Center. We like to highlight the wonderful things that are happening around the university. Very easy to donate if you'd like to. Go onto the dashboard page, look on the right side under Chronicles, and you'll see a yellow box that says Donate the U of M Depression Center. And you click on it, and it takes you right to where you can donate. Okay? Now, we have a goal for overall minutes for everybody in the program. We would like to reach that 20 million minutes logged point. So we've done it before. I think we can do it again, but it's going to take everybody working together. So keep logging your minutes, keep it encouraging others to log their minutes, and we'll let you know weekly how we're doing, getting there. We are already at over 4.1 million minutes logged. So we're doing great, but let's keep it going. Completion requirements for ActiveView, you have to meet or exceed your goal minutes each week. That's the key part of this. Whatever your goal minutes are, you have to meet or exceed. So if your goal is set at 150, you don't have to do 120 minutes. You have to do 150 minutes, all right? So whatever your goal is set at, you have to meet or exceed those goal minutes. Now, included in which is that at least 30 minutes a day for a minimum of three days a week. So, for example, let's just say you have 120 minutes set as your goal. You could do four days a week of 30 minutes. You could do three days a week of 40 minutes. You could do three days a week of 30 minutes and then 10 minutes on three other days of the week. You can, there's a lot of different things you can do, but your key thing to remember is the two parts of that. You have to reach or meet or exceed your goal minutes, and it has to be over at least three days a week of at least 30 minutes a day. Okay? Second part of the completion requirements, log at least eight of the 12 week, weeks successfully. I've already had some folks contact me and say, you know, I was sick last week. I didn't really exercise, so I guess I'm out of the program. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. We want you to be successful as long as you log at least eight out of the 12 weeks successfully, you can complete successfully. Okay? So we'd love you to do 12 weeks, but if something happens, you're ill, or, you, know, you know, life happens. It happens sometimes. Um, at least log eight of the 12 weeks, and then you're, you're going to be eligible for the T-shirt at the end. And then you want to complete the ActiveView program questions, which come out in March. Not technically a post-program survey because it happens during the program, 
but it has a, sort of that feel to it. So it will say, how have you liked the program and so on. But it's super important that we get your feedback. And that's why we offer it sort of during the program as opposed to after the program. Um, when we've tried to do it after the program, we had, oh, you know, 12 people complete the survey. And we want more feedback than that. So we have it during the program, and it is one of the completion requirements. You must complete the program survey as well. And then faculty and staff are eligible to receive a free T-shirt. Now, this weekly minutes goal history, um, this is something new. And if you go to the dashboard page, scroll down to the bottom in the middle, you'll see this. It's under achievements. It's under challenge area. Um, this is a weekly minutes goal history. Something that's happened in the past is folks said, hey, I thought I completed that week successfully. Well, first of all, they say, I thought I completed eight weeks, and I didn't. What weeks didn't I? And then when I tell them the weeks, they'll say, well, no, I think I completed that successfully. This tells you right here. So two key parts to this. The first is days with 30-plus minutes, okay? I happen to have six on this one. In order for you to have a successful week, you must have that number be three or more. If it's not three or more days that week that you did 30, plus minutes, you're not going to have a successful week. So let's say that is three or more, then you move to the right side of that box, and you'll see a number over your goal. Now, my goal that first week was 120 minutes. I happened to do a little bit more than that, so that was a successful week. You can see in the upper right corner of that box, there's a check mark. That means a successful week. If it had not been successful, you would have seen a red X. So as we move through the program, Everybody can go ahead and feel free to look on this on their dashboard. And for each and every week, you'll be able to tell if you're successful or not, and if you're not successful, specifically why you weren't successful. So we hope that this helps folks uh, clear up any confusion they may have in terms of which weeks they are successful and which they are not. This is where you would go uh, if you wanted to add minutes manually. So you, on the dashboard page, on the left side, under favorites, you'll see exercise minutes. You click a plus sign right after that, and you come to this page. The only thing we care about on this page is the box time minutes. If you want to fill out any of the information, name, I did yoga, and then I swam, and then this is how many calories I burned. And under notes, you could put what was my blue swimming suit. I looked quite good in it. Then I went for lunch, and Sally and I had salad. Wonderful. Put all that information in if that's something that's important to you. <laughs> the only thing that we're going to pull for the program, the only thing, is time and minutes. Okay? So please remind your folks of that people are saying, oh, I don't have time to do this. Literally, it will take four seconds. Type in your exercise minutes, scroll to the bottom of the page, and click Save Exercise. That's important. You've got to save the exercise at the bottom of the page, and then you're out of there for the day. Okay? T-shirt try-on information. There are lots of try-on dates in February and March. Please encourage your folks to do this. Good reason. Of course, all clothing doesn't fit the same, correct? And we are trying to be good stewards of the university's resources. So we only order the number of T-shirts that people order themselves. For example, if we have 8,000 people complete active use successfully, we will order exactly 8,000 T-shirts. We don't order any extra. So if you get a T-shirt size that doesn't fit, we actually can't exchange that for you. So tryout days will come out the week of February 4th. Please encourage your folks to go. There will be some on-campus sites, Lit, Dearborn, and Ann Arbor. And then you can also go to underground printing stores. But please go ahead and try on the items, whether it be an upgrade or a free T-shirt, to make sure you're getting the right size. Then, after the try-ons, later in the program, you'll find out whether you're successful or not. And once you complete the program successfully, you can actually choose your T-shirt. Now, the free T-shirts are just like the try-on dates. You can either go to an underground printing store or one of the many numerous campus locations. Again, Flint, Dearborn, Ann Arbor, there's lots and lots and lots of locations. Okay? Those dates and sites are going to be announced later in the program. You can also upgrade if you want. You either have a free T-shirt or an upgrade. You can't get two of anything. Uh, but if you get an upgrade, then your only options in terms of getting it, you can either 
have it mailed to you, to your home for $6 extra, or you can say, I'm going to pick it up at X underground printing store, and there are three in Ann Arbor. Now, if, you're, if you don't work or live near the Ann Arbor area, then you can still do that and just talk to your wellness coordinator, and he or she can help you. If you'd like one picked up from one of those stores, then they can go ahead and pick it up for you after you pay, and they'll get it to you, okay? So don't let it be that just because you don't live or work in Ann Arbor that you can't get an upgrade. If you really want one of the upgrades, um, you're going to be able to go ahead and, and order that, and we're going to definitely help you work with getting it. Again, spouses and other qualified adults are welcome to join the program. All you would have to do to invite them, and again, you have to do this by February 4th, is go ahead and get into the dashboard. Look in the upper right corner. There's a photo icon that you chose. Click on that. Go to profile. And in your profile, just scroll to the bottom. And there's a place where you can put in the email address of the person you want invited as your spouse or OQA. They get sent the email, and they have to sign up by February 4th, and then we go from there. Other health and well-being services. So hopefully all of you know about our Be Kind, Be Well campaign. We kicked it off at the Be Well in the Big House event uh, last September, which, by the way, save the date, September 20th of 2019 is our Be Well in the Big House for this year. So save that date. But Be Kind, Be Well is something we're just hoping folks really take to heart a little bit. You can go on to the webpage and print out and take the pledge. Uh, you can post photos of your kindness activities. Uh, there are gratitude cards to print out. Lots of different things that you can do to be very active uh, with this campaign. And we encourage you to just let us know what you're doing. And hopefully you'll give us some good ideas on being kind as well. The Change is Everything campaign. I know many of you got your first taste of this at the Champ Retreat in November. We had a lot of these flyers and so on. Uh, we're going to start pushing out this information, especially social media-wise, but in a lot of different ways in the upcoming months, so you'll hear more and more about this. Uh, if you are on social media and don't already follow on the Healthy, please do so. Uh, I'll talk more about that later, but um, it's important. We do have a lot of information about our programs and services on social media. Tobacco consultation and alcohol management. Uh, we are highlighting these now because a lot of folks don't even know we have these. Um, so we offer these services and folks are not maybe taking advantage of them because they don't know we have them. Tobacco, of course, you know, smoke-free campus. Um, for benefits eligible, you have employees and their benefit enrolled spouses. Uh, this program is also free. It's always judgment-free and confidential. Um, same thing with alcohol management, judgment-free, confidential, and alcohol management is for folks who want to cut down or quit their drinking. So for either of those programs, you can go ahead and call the numbers listed there, or of course, you can go ahead and go online for more information, and that's also the way to set up an appointment. Back pain triage program. Um, this is a new pilot program. We're starting with Michigan Medicine. Uh, we hope to expand it as we go along, um, but among other steps, there's going to be a lot more free online resources. We have some but they're going to be even more. So if you go to the M Healthy webpage and in the search engine, um, put in back pain, you'll see a very robust website that will give you exercises and stretches for hopefully preventing back pain or, or some that you might be able to do once you get back pain. Because we all know what may happen is you have pain in your back and you call your doctor for an appointment and here she says, yes, we can fit you in five weeks from Wednesday. And you say, well, what do I do in the meantime? So we've worked with the spine clinic and physicians to make sure that we have something there available for you um, for that interim, okay? M Healthy Rewards. So it's our 11th year, and our wellness partners for M Healthy Rewards include Stay Well, Total Wellness, and Incent Fit. And we make sure to give you the names of those partners because they're going to be in emails a lot. You may even get emails from these folks. So we want to make sure that you know who they are. This year, in order to complete rewards successfully, it complete a wellness screening. So just go online and you can choose a time, date, and location. Then you complete the, health, the 2019 health questionnaire. Actually, do the questionnaire first, then go ahead and go to your screening. And then you earn $100. So it's that simple. In the past, we've done some activities, and that may be something we go to again in the future. But for 2019, complete the wellness screening, complete the 2019 health questionnaire, 
and that's when you earn your $100. So the screenings partnered with Stay Well and Total Wellness. Total Wellness are the folks that you'll actually be meeting with during the screening. They're only 20 minutes long, so definitely worth it. Height, weight, cholesterol, and the cholesterol is just the finger stick. And then you get to meet one-on-one -on -one with a health coach, and he or she will go over your numbers, what they mean, and then help you set an action plan to improve your wellness for the upcoming year. These screenings are offered at over 50 different locations, and they go up through April 26, which is when rewards ends. The health questionnaire, as I mentioned, confidential tools. So you start at the M Healthy website, you go to the Stay Well website, and that's where you take the health questionnaire. So it's off of our site, confidential, it's their site. What Stay Well does with the information is they de-identify it and then send it back to M Healthy only in aggregate form. So there's nothing individual, it's only in aggregate form in terms of areas, in terms of departments, so M Healthy knows how we can better serve you. So for example, this area might have back care issues, so we work with them in that area. This area might have stress management issues, so we can work with them in those areas. It helps us in terms of helping you with the proper programs and services. The health questionnaire is open only until April 26th, so you're going to want to take that soon. And then once you do that questionnaire, that also qualifies you for the Fitness Center Membership Reimbursement. Now, the Fitness Center Membership Reimbursement, that's when we part partner with Incentifit, that was the other vendor we mentioned earlier. Um, once you've completed the health questionnaire, then you're eligible. So if you haven't completed the health questionnaire and you tried to get into Incentifit today, it would show up as an error message. It would say something like you're not eligible. And that only means that you haven't completed the health questionnaire. All right, so do that first then get into the Incentfit site. You can earn up to $12. You earn $12 for each month you pay um, to an eligible facility, up to $120 total. So it goes January through October, $12 a month, and then you're paid out twice a year. Most fitness centers will know when you ask them for some sort of documentation that you've paid them. They know to have this on there, but just in case, the criteria is whatever they give you has to identify you, the employee as the member. So if you're on, for example, a family membership, but you're not the person that's listed as the head or the person who pays, then you will not be able to be reimbursed. So you have to be the person who's doing the paying. Um, it has to be a purchase receipt, and it has to have their letterhead, and it has to be for completed or past payments. So let's say you just signed up for your membership somewhere, um, but you haven't paid for November of 2019 yet, obviously, or October or September or July. So they're not going to be able to reimburse those months. They'll just reimburse the months, of course, for which you have already paid. Now, the fitness, this is a fitness center membership reimbursement. And that's where some folks sort of get a little confused. If you're at a location that literally only offers classes, that's not a fitness center. That is a class center. Uh, if you subscribe to one of the fitness apps online, again, not a fitness center. So it has to be a fitness center membership. And then we can go ahead and work on the reimbursement. So important dates, and the one that's left is the April 26th date. So that's when rewards ends. You have to make sure to do all the information by that time. If you have any new employees in your area, um, just remind them that they will be eligible, but after they choose their benefits, it may be up to two weeks or so before we can get them on the eligibility list. So if they, it's today and they choose their benefits at 1 p.m. and then try to get in to stay well at 2 p.m., they're probably going to be denied access. But um, just give them a couple weeks, and then we'll get them on the list as quickly as we can, and then they can also take part in M Healthy Rewards. If you have rewards questions, um, you can email M Healthy or give us a call. If you have questions about the health questionnaire, Stay Well Portal, Stay Well Programs, or the screenings, you want to contact Stay Well. And then if you have questions about um, fitness center membership reimbursements, uh, go ahead and contact and send fit. Okay? So how you can help, what we ask our champs to do is communicate and promote M healthy programs and services. Um, participate in the programs and encourage your colleagues to participate and then give us feedback. Let us know what we're doing well, what we are doing that needs some work, some improvement. What are some things maybe we're not offering that we should be? 
Continue to let us know. We really rely on you champs to let us know what's working in your areas. You know your areas better than we do, obviously. So please let us know what we can do to help and be better. Top three takeaways, um, of course, complete the ACES program, promote the M Healthy programs, and make sure you're connecting with your wellness coordinator or the champion team. So in terms of coordinator, you should all have our email address. Contact us. Let us know how you're doing. Let us know when you do events or programs in terms of wellness in your area. And let us know if you need them. So, for example, what if you want a seminar or demo? Go ahead and contact us. Um, actually, what you would do for that is you would go into the CHAMP portal under resources, and you'll see all the de uh, demos. And you can go ahead and put in through the request form. Just let us know what we can do to help. Ask us to uh, a committee meeting, a wellness committee meeting in your area. Let us know. We're always happy to talk to you, always happy to come out. Help you. As I mentioned before, we'd like you to stay connected. If you are on social media, uh, please go ahead and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. Uh, again, a lot of our programs and services, announcements, updates are all on social media. So if you can, if you're on social media, please go ahead and follow us. Main numbers for contact. Uh, there's the M Healthy phone number. And again, if you wanted to email us, you would email mhealthy at umich.edu. Contact your wellness coordinator. Of course, you can email any of us uh, specifically. I'm sure you have uh, the personal email of your coordinator. However, if you're not sure to whom you should speak, feel free. You can contact the wellness coordinators at mhealthy-well-cord at umich.edu. And if there are concerns about the portal, go ahead and, and contact the M Healthy champion folks. So if you have any questions, please let us know. Again, mhealthy at umich.edu. We're calling us at 734-647-7888. And again, thank you so much for helping. Uh, we really appreciate it. Please keep it up, and please let us know what we can do to support you in your area in terms of your wellness. Thanks so much for your time.